Uh, hello, my name's Oliver, and I created um, this toilet dispenser robot. So what it does is it dispenses toilet paper, but it has security to it. So first, so you have to have your hand wave, and also have to type in a password as well. There's is there's a button here to press. Um, so going over it bit by bit. So what is here is I have some gears which basically use to roll the toilet paper along. It's all powered by this um, EV3 motor. Uh, I also have to sense my hand detection if I go like this. I have a um, ultrasonic sensor here as well as I have a keypad over here for typing in my passcode. As well as I have a touch sensor. Um, what is happening over here is there is an Arduino board underneath this Spectronic Shield. Uh, it's powered by a 9 volt battery, by the way. Um, so what the Spectronic Shield does is it allows me to plug in Lego extensions. So I can use it to plug in a EV3 motor and some and an ultrasonic sensor and a, a button and use it in a in EV in Arduino. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do a demo. So first, I have to open the serial monitor for my Arduino. Okay, so once the serial monitor is open, I show my hand to this ultrasonic sensor. So I just wave it in front like this, and on the serial monitor, say enter password. So now, what that means is I just type in the keypad. My password, which happens to be one, two, three, then I just type pound key to you know verify it, and look, it says correct, and I'll press the button to dispense the toilet paper, so I'll dispense it. So now it's dispensing, and I got a sheet of toilet paper. Mm. Yay! Your big skills are not that good. So now let's see what happens if I get it wrong. So we'll just repeat the process. I'll do the enter password thing. And now let me enter the password wrong. So one, two, two, three, pound key. And look, it says wrong. Try again, five seconds. And see, try again. And once I try again, correct. And I can dispense myself some more toilet paper. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to introduce my program. So up here is a description of it, but you don't need to know that. So my first part, so this part here, um, I'm basically including libraries. So like quick functions to easily type in my code. So here, this portion is for my password. So you can see the password is one, two, three. And yeah, this is the input. So when I type it, and here's the password. Okay, so continuing down. Uh, here is the key keypad. So I'm creating basically the keypad, mapping it out, telling it what pins the keypad goes to. Um, this next part. Um, creating variables for the electronics part, so my body and my motor and the ultrasonic sensor. Down here we have some variables to, you know, make sure the program runs smoothly without error and also runs logically. Down here, I basically set everything up, so you know, void, uh, so setting up my serial monitor as well as setting up the um, all the motors and so these two, these three variables are for for the loop. Just, just you know, the loop specific variables. Then down here, this whole section is for my is for the hand sensing mechanism. Then, oops.
over here. This is to print out your password as well as check to see if the password is correct. And if your password is correct, it will go to this little area, which basically dispenses your toilet paper and tells you to dispense your toilet paper. It also resets all the variables. And finally over here, if you get your password wrong, it will say try again and in five seconds, and it'll set a little delay for 5,000 milliseconds. Then here it's just resetting your user input as well as stopping the motors. And if you wondered what this dispense function meant, it basically means, no, up here. If you're wondering what this dispense function meant, it's basically typed down here where I created a function called dispense. And it basically is for the dispensing of the toilet paper. Yeah. Well, for the conclusion of my robot, um, even though I don't think it's very practical for your toilet use, um, it was a good project for me to learn and show my skills. Thank you.